A salesman told me of an incident that took place in a Midwestern hotel room. He was one of a group of businessmen having a conference. One man was very much on edge. He was snappy, argumentative, high strung. Everyone present knew him quite well and realized he was under great nervous pressure. But finally, his irritating attitudes began to get on everybody's nerves. Presently, this nervous individual opened his traveling bag, took out a big bottle of brackish looking medicine and poured himself a large dose, asked what this medicine was. He growled, ah, oh, it's something for nervous. I feel like I am going to break in pieces. The pressure I am under makes me wonder if I am going to crack up. I try not to show it, but I suppose even you fellows have observed swallowed several bottles of it. But I don't seem to get any better. The other man laughed, then one said in a kindly manner, Bill, I don't know anything about that medicine you are taking. Maybe it's all right. It probably is, but I can give you some medicine for those nerves that will do you more good than that. I know, because it cured me and I was worse off than you are. What is this medicine? snapped the other. This book will do the job and I really mean it. I suppose you think it's strange that I carry a Bible around in my bag. But I don't care who knows it. I am not a bit ashamed of it. I have been carrying this Bible in my bag for the past two years and I have marked blessings in it that help keep my mind at peace. It works for me and I think it can do something for you too. Why not give it a trial? The others were listening with interest to this unusual speech. The nervous man had sunk low in his chair, seeing that he was making an impression. The speaker continued. I had a peculiar experience in a hotel one night which got me into the habit of reading the Bible. I was getting into a pretty tense state. I was out on a business trip and late one afternoon came up to my room terribly nervous. I tried to write some letters but couldn't get my mind on them. I passed up and down the room, tried to read the paper but that annoyed me. So I decided to go down and get a drink, anything to get away from myself. While standing by the dresser, my eye happened to fall upon a Bible lying there. I had seen many such Bibles in hotel rooms, but had never read any of them. However, something impaired me and I opened the book to one of the Psalms and started to read it. I remember that I read that one standing up, then sat down and read another. I was interested but certainly surprised at myself. Me reading the Bible? It was love. But I kept on reading. Soon I came to the 23rd Psalm. I had learned that one as a boy in Sunday school and was surprised that I still knew most of it by heart. I tried saying it over, especially that line where it says, He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. I liked that line. It sort of got me. I sat there repeating it over and over. And the next thing I knew, I woke up. Apparently, I had dropped off to sleep and slept soundly. I slept only about 15 minutes, but upon awakening was as refreshed and rested as if I would had a good night's sleep. I can remember yet the wonderful feeling of complete refreshment. Then I realized that I felt peaceful and said to myself, isn't it strange? What is wrong with me that I have missed something as wonderful as this? So after that experience, he said, I bought a Bible, a little one I could put in my bag, and I have been carrying it ever since. I honestly like to read it, and I am not nearly as nervous as I used to be. So he added, try that, Bill, and see if it doesn't work. Bill did try it, and he kept on trying it. He reported that it was a bit strange and difficult for him at first, and he read the Bible on the sly when nobody was around. He didn't want to be thought holy or pious, but now he says he brings it out on trends and plans or any old place and reads it, and it does him a world of good. I no longer need to take nerve medicine, he declared. 
This scheme must have worked in Bill's case, for he is easy to get along with now. His emotions are under control. These two men found that getting peace of mind isn't complicated. You merely feed your mind with thoughts that cause it to be peaceful. To have a mind full of peace, merely feel it full of peace. It's as simple as that.